Welcome back to our Planet Ayurveda studio. Today we are here with uh, Dr. Anjana and Dr. Shungo and we will be discussing very to various topics, so various recommendations that Ayurveda gives us. So first topic I would like to discuss is how can women take care of their complexion so it will be you know, nice and smooth. Okay, so as you all know that uh, today Everyone is uh, that, uh, conscious about the skin, they want to look attractive in the outer world, they have to be presentable. For that, every woman or even men also, they want to look young and energetic and they have want to have a glowing skin. For that, in Ayurveda, in Ayurveda we are mentioning that every symptoms that is uh, coming on our skin is due to the doshas, balancing of the doshas. Okay, there are three doshas, Vata, Pitta and Kapha. So from them, Pitta dosha is very much important for the complexion of the skin. Like Bhajat Pitta is there, that is very important for the skin complexion. So if we have maintained Pitta, our skin will be looking glowing and it will not be having any disease like pimples, acne, it will not be. And uh, for that, if we uh, want to have glowing skin, so in uh, India we are uh, like we are just practicing many home remedies also. Okay. We are uh, giving like a turmeric, that haldi, that is very good for the skin. And uh, from the uh, childhood onwards, we are taking a pinch of haldi in a milk for uh, having internal problems like it has anti-inflammatory actions. So if your skin having any inflammations or any pimples, so haldi is very much important in that. So haldi we are having, we are having tulsi. Tulsi is also very good. And it has antioxidant properties. So if we are having a Tulsi tea or a Tulsi decoctions once a day, so it will just uh, remove all the impurities, internal impurities. Mm -hmm. And if there is no impurities inside, the skin will look glow and it will be disease free. So like that, we are having many much like uh, for uh, cleansing that uh, we are not using any cosmetics and all. In India, we are just taking a milk just making a milk and uh, without boiling we are taking milk and with the cotton we are just uh, cleaning our face it will improve the dirt, it will remove moreover it will give you soft and shiny skin that milk has this much property that it will give you soft and shiny skin and uh, we are having the aloe vera the aloe vera we are having and uh, with the aloe vera you can just have the aloe vera gel we are in the markets also or we can just cut down the aloe vera leaf and uh, you just rub the aloe vera leaf on your face and keep it for 10 to 15 minutes and uh, it will give you glowing skin as well as it will just remove the toxins the impurities which you are getting from the environment you can also take aloe vera huh. juice aloe vera juice like she says that aloe vera yeah, juice exactly. and uh, other like uh, we are it is rich in many you know vitamin C, vitamin mm. A so you can take that so your skin will be growing from in, uh, inside you can say mm. and second thing we can uh, you can use honey as a face mask mm. with honey what it does it uh, absorbs the moisture and it makes you know skin look moisturized uh, there is no dryness you can have a glowing skin uh, you can also have egg white as a, you can use it as a face mask mm. That also you know, it uh, removes fine lines and wrinkles and make lo skin look younger and more smooth. Yeah. So likewise, we are also having many you know, like home remedies in India. We are making a face marks in a home also. Like for the scrub, we are going to parlors and all for scrubbing for yeah. cleansing your skin. But in uh, India uh, or uh, in home, we are just uh, taking a pinch of sugar and lemon juice in it, and we just take it in our hands and just rub it on our skin, and it will give you glowing skin. It will the exfoliate yeah. the dead exfoliate cells. the dead skin. It will just remove your dead skin and it will give you glowing and much better. So it was like feeling. Yeah, you are just feeling. Just to give a massage for uh, 10 to 15 minutes, it will give you everything. But it should be done only once or twice a week. Yeah, because so it, it should will, not be over. Uh, because you know? it will just erupt your skin. Right? If you are, uh, it can cause inflammation on the skin. Mm -hmm. So just use it for oh. once or twice a week. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We know about this uh, herb. It's uh, already quite famous, famous in uh, Europe and that's a uh, neem. So are there any special recipes how to use neem externally? For yeah, you can use, you can you make a face mask along with the uh, neem you can take some uh, Yeah, um, with neem plus honey you can honey take it, neem leaves you can just uh, grind it, grind it in the form uh, or neem powder you can take it, you take a one spoon of neem powder and mm -hmm. some uh, yeah like uh, rose water in it or some uh, that uh, we are just using a 
uh, honey you can take it you make a paste and uh, you can just apply on your skin and uh, if you are 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, minutes and if one having a pimples or any boils in or any burns that it needs as she told it have any how many uh, anti inflammatory uh, properties antioxidant properties so you can uh, if you take any internally it is yeah. also well and good Okay. Uh, as it, yeah. Yeah. If you take a neem powder once a day with a lukewarm water, that is also amazing. That it will give you internal detoxify. detoxify your body yeah. because uh, neem is very has antibacterial and antiviral properties. So it will just it also the, eliminate the you know free radicals. Free radicals are uh, responsible for the inflammation anywhere in the body. So we can see on our face the the pimples. There are also a kind of inflammation of the sebaceous glands. So, so it will get away. You can get away with that. Uh, Neem powder. Neem powder. You can get it. Okay. Are there any other herbs, Ayurvedic herbs, that we can use internally with this name as some kind of yeah, combination? Yeah, we can have a manjista. Manjista is a herb. Like it is just not only it just has anti-inflammatory properties. It also is a blood purifier. So it purifies your blood. And moreover, uh, with blood purifier, like if you are having any. Uh, Uh, this is like related to blood, like any. It clears the toxins. Uh, it clears the, the toxins from the blood and it gives you glowing skin. So manjusha we are having, we are having turmeric, we are having, and uh, we are having aloe, aloe we are having, and that is uh, and uh, moreover we are just nakarshik, that is also a that we are having this much also. Okay. Should be aware of some meal that we should not eat yeah. to have the you know beautiful skin and complexion. Yeah, you shouldn't have junk food, much of packaged food, processed food, as it uh, just you know yeah, go back to the skin. It, it, it increases the, the it increases the secretions from the sebaceous yeah. glands. Means it will produce more oil from your skin. And if we go from the Ayurvedic perspective, it mm-hmm. increases the ama in the body, which is responsible for all kind of diseases. If we can say mm-hmm. any skin problem also, so just cut off those things: packaged food, processed food, no, any you know leftovers. Just go with the f- green vegetables. So or try to take food. more over vitamin C because vitamin C is very good for skin. So you can take have oranges, you can have uh, citrus fruits like lemon. You can have it. You can like apple. You can have yeah. it. So these are the you just don't uh, take like uh, much of uh, oily or uh, vegetables that uh, are having very spices. Amla, amla, amla. Ah, amla. You can have it. Yeah, amla. It is very rich in vitamin C. Mm-hmm. You know they say that. Uh, It is twenty. It have twenty times more vitamin C yeah. in it than uh, orange juice. Yeah. So, so you can go if you take one amla daily. So yeah. it is very good for ears too. It is very good for the skin and it for the eyes also. It is very good. So with vitamin C, it is abundant of vitamin C. Like she said, like it is have twenty more times. So I recommend like just to take one amla because it has act as a desina. Means in our way, it is act as a desina. Means for the young, youthful. Skin and body. We are taking our energy. So, like this. Okay. Thank you very much for all the recommendation. Thank you.